often when we ask universe for the support when we ask universe to bring us something often we do do not manifest exactly what we want is because we do not fully believe that it is possible for us to have and experience that reality and so in this video as we speak through how can you open up more how can you receive more of that reality that you desire that you which is aligned with your true soul desire with your true be inner being i will also be doing and speaking some life language healing codes transmissions to help this information to go to uh, not just on your conscious mind but go deeper through your subconscious and into your unconscious mind for this information to go deeper into your bioenergy field so that you can open up and be more receptive to this information and be more receptive to your desires which you are calling in if you are new to this channel welcome to spiritually selfish channel my name is christina day and spiritual selfish channel is all about filling up your own cup it is about becoming selfless by first becoming selfish because it is in our society that we have been led to believe that the external world is what matters the most that pleasing other people is what is important that the surface level things is what determines our value our true value our true joy and happiness and alignment with our soul mission comes from that moment when we truly allow ourselves to be and live the life as our soul our soul intends us to be and that only can come to fruition when we are loving from overflow when our cup is so full that we're able to give to people from the saucer that our overflow went on to right so with this video i want to remind you how to ask or aka align yourself with those big desires that you want because it is not by doing in seeking of approval it is not by doing uh, with the intention of pleasing somebody to get something from someone something for someone that you get your desires or that you uh, get some approval for status in, in, in the world it is by allowing yourself to be freely who you are that you get that internal fulfillment that you cannot find anywhere else no external thing will give you the internal fulfillment that your soul will flood with your vessel once it truly comes into alignment and for our soul to truly come into alignment we have to listen to it and that also includes listening to our inner world of our human into our fears and shadows and addressing that first before the alignment can happen so when we wish when we ask when we desire something i want new car i want new people i want money i want you know a partner i want good health and so on and so forth often we desire that on a conscious level 
Sure, kissiri, kinaka sikite kiru kusa tsikiti kerna kusatsu. But we do not realize that on the unconscious level, there are beliefs, patterns, programs, and imprints that tell us that it is not possible to receive that which we desire. Hence, we manifest what is programmed deeply on our unconscious vibrational frequency level. So in order for us to manifest consciously, we need to look at that which our unconscious holds. And often this I have been feeling is coming up to, to myself, to my clients, to my mentors, to my friends, specifically during the past two, three weeks. The energies have been really intense, clearing out everything that is not in alignment with your desire, which have been creating purging, releasing, and really big uncomfortability in those of us who are ready to align with our soul desires, who are ready to embody that higher way of being. But yet, we still hold those outdated, limited perceptions, limited uh, frequencies, which we have experienced in the past and on which we continue to build our future. And this is why so many of us, you know, star seeds, light workers, those people who consciously intend to manifest and to shape our destiny in a conscious mania, we do experience some manifestations that are not what we desire or the biggest thing when we try to manifest and this is the key is to right now think about your desire that you now want most of which is your number one priority when you try to manifest it what did you ask for did you fully and completely ask and open up to receive? Or did you put a cap on it? Did you associate, do you associate yourself? I need to do X, Y, Z before I can have something better. Because often we do not get which we desire is because we suppress ourselves due to our past limited, outdated, contracting experiences. We do not fully believe that somebody will show up in our life and support us. We do not fully believe that there are people who will be able to receive all of us, all of our multidimensional, infinite, energetical being. We hide ourselves, we suppress ourselves unconsciously on autopilot because on the unconscious level, we kind of came to terms that we are surrounded with surface level people, that all that we deserve is surface level projects. But this is where you keep attracting that. So the key in asking the universe and receiving what you want is being brutally honest with yourself. What do you desire? And do not diminish your light. Do not diminish your wish, your dream, just because you're unconscious just because your ego is telling you on your past experience that it is impossible. It's time to let it go. Realize that there are people who are able to meet you where you are, who are able to go as deep as you are going, who are manifesting, who are working on themselves consciously, who are multidimensional, spiritual, quantum, mental, emotional, and physical as much as you are. 
because if we continue to hold ourselves back and you know to a certain degree only show certain parts of ourselves because we do not feel safe fully to show all of our weird parts of ourselves or we do not feel fully deserving of that the universe will give us you know a partner money a job opportunity a project if we continue living in that suppressed unconsciously suppressing ourselves uh, in, in those ways of being that's what we uh, that's what we manifest that's what we receive so in a loving kind way today i remind you to get really really honest with yourself what you desire and to work to work through and shine light on any darkness and on any unconscious pattern belief program imprint or implant that is telling you otherwise know that there are people it's impossible where these people are going to come from know this desire where it's going to come from thing that i like to tell to myself when i work through this impossible things and not even to myself to the universe that universe this is what i want this is what my soul desires. I truly feel full, 100% alignment. But it feels so out of reach for my human. There's so many aspects that are falling into the place. I don't know. I don't know how to make it happen. I hand it over to you. Please support me on this. And this is the key, right? Still asking for the things that you believe in, that you know, know that they are possible. It's just like you don't know, you don't know how to make it happen, right? So that it's not that your mind snaps completely, it's, you know, out of your reach. Yes, it's out of my reach, but it is possible. And I ask, I allow, I surrender, I step away, I open up to receive. But I fully know what I desire and I'm not settling for less. Because the truth is we're asking for less because we have not accepted the deeper parts of ourselves. We ask for people, for support, for money, for opportunities that are surface level is because there's still part of us, within us, that rejects, rejects the deeper parts of our being that is deeply spiritual, that is deeply grounded, that is deeply wise and quantum. Because we have this fear that we will not be fully received. And because we have the fear that we're fully not going to be received, we internally we reject that part of ourselves, we hide it, we push it away. But because we keep holding that fear, we keep attracting and allowing the situations and people and uh, opportunities to come our way that will prove us that we are not able or safe to show that deeper, weird, weird parts of ourselves. Dura na si hi kura na isa ki ku a i na karine ka si tu a ri na ka su f s e kire na ka ha si kire nu ka si ni ka kuru sa sa kura na divine beautiful being of light remember who you are remember your depth remember your multidimensionality your badassery your quantumness and all as you are as a human being your ego your mental body your emotional body your physical body we blend those two together we allow and accept fully and completely all levels of ourselves we own who we are and we ask, we request in a humble way 
from that place of alignment. Not settling for less. Not diminishing your desires, your dreams. Not feeding into the belief that, well, at the beginning I need to do this and only then I can have something better. If that's what you allow yourself to believe, that's what you can experience. But no, there are alternative realities. I know that I want this and I know it's out of my reach right now. But I'm open for ideas to come in. How you can just be and request that which is a little bit of a stretch for you. But you still stay in alignment with who you are by allowing yourself to receive that support from the universe. And that support will come either through people coming into your life that are more advanced than you are that are just able to show up in your life and give you the support that you require or the opportunities and projects will come into your life that will give you exactly what you desire and even more. I want you to know their divine vessel of light that you are extremely advanced and you came here to shine that wise, deep frequency and share it with others. So please do not diminish it. Do not settle for less. Because in your past, you have experienced situations where you were not fully received, where you got weird looks, <laughs> where people thought that you're crazy just because of their own limitations. Just because they're not able to perceive what you are perceiving, they're not receiving the information in the same way that you are. It does not mean that you are weird or that you are a liar or that you are living in illusions. All it means that someone as deep and knowledgeable as you and intuitive as you needs to be met by a similar consciousness. A consciousness that will be able to receive and hold all of you. And I want you to know that there are so many people and, you know, beings of light who are very advanced, just like you and even more, who will be able to support you, to guide you. So when you ask for the universe to bring you something or someone Ask based on who you are as a soul, not based on your limited perceptions. Ask that which you deserve and which you desire, not what that you think that can happen. This is for all of you beautiful beings who are deeply spiritual, deeply connected, quantum, multidimensional, and are embodying all of that or aspiring to embody all of that in your humanness. It is time to show the world, the planet, the collective, and yourself who you truly are. What do you want? the juiciest, the craziest, the biggest out of reach desires and start attracting it, start receiving it. But first we accept and love the part of ourselves that is way out of the norms of this planet. <laughs> we love that part, we embody that part, we own that weird, wise, old, multidimensional part of us, 
we understand our worth, we understand our value, and we do not settle for anything else. You incarnated on purpose at this time on this planet, so please remember who you are. And ask universe, angels, archangels, your spirit guides, your higher self to guide you through this process, to assist you in remembrance and bringing to fruition your soul mission and all the little milestones and projects on your path towards fulfillment of your soul mission and different goals. I love you. Thank you so much for joining. Please leave the comment down below. What do you desire? And set that in, mo in motion. Do not settle for less. Claim it. I love you. And speak soon. Bye. If you'd like to become part of a conscious community to be supported on your spiritual journey, shadow work, soul remembrance, stepping into your leadership, come and join us at the Leaders of Light Collective. You'll receive monthly activations, workshops, Q&As, community, and so much more. For more details and to sign up, go to spiritualselfish.com forward slash leaders dash of dash white.